What's up everybody, Big J coming back at you again today and I've got today a new RDA to try. It is the Watofo Troll 25mm. Um, thing's pretty badass, I'm not going to lie to you. I mean, this is 0.3 uh, with, at 80 watts. Check it out. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, so let's just get to the getting inside the box. You're going to get uh, all your stuff. You have your RDA here, and then you're going to have a little hole up here. The little hole up here is where the chuff cap came from. Um, I like the chuff cap myself, but it came pre-installed with a metal 510 and then like a fill cap that goes in there um, I'll show that to you in a minute uh, under that you're gonna get three of these little bags that say comp wire now don't get excited because it's not three bags of wire um, in one bag you're going to get the little multi-tool uh, that geek vape you know anybody that's got geek vape stuff you're gonna know what this little multi-tool is with that multi-tool you're gonna get a whole bunch of extra o-rings as you can see, I mean, there's O-rings for days. And then you also get four extra grub nuts. Um, in another bag, you are going to get a square of Kojen dough, I believe, cotton. Um, I cut this stuff down, and I tried to make wicks out of it. And I mean, I've never seen... Now, this piece is actually sticking together fairly well. The other stuff, I mean, it literally just... I must have cut it wrong or something. I don't know. But when I cut this, this stuff just evaporated. So I went ahead and grabbed some cotton bacon and threw it in here. Um, in the third bag, you're going to get three pre-made coils. Um, they look like they're like 32 or 34 gauge, uh, two strand twisted. Um, that's going to be my guess. And I believe they're stainless steel. Because when I uh, heated them up, they got that nice pretty... You know, um, they got the little rainbow colors to it. Um, and today I'm using the first by Baroque Dick. So. Tasty stuff. So let's just pop the whole thing off. There's what the build looks like. Um, and like I said, the build, all I did was I installed two out of the three coils that they gave me. Uh, straightened them out a little bit. Um and then threw some uh, cotton bacon in there. The uh, the juice well is deep. I mean, it's nice. I don't have to drip this that often at all. Uh, and obviously the cotton bacon does well with uh, holding the juice too. Uh, it is velocity style deck, two post design. Love that design, always have. Uh, I mean, I have the original velocity if it'll let go of the stand from back in the day, so. I mean, love that design. Uh, the airflow, well, let's blow it apart. So, got your build deck. Obviously, like I said, velocity style, nice deep juice well. Pop the top cap off. It also has your airflow adjustments. Now, there are three horizontal lines, and then they have three diagonal lines. So, you can set it up however you want. Um, but it is dual airflow on both sides okay so you have openings there and you have an opening there so whatever and whatever you match it up to is what it matches up to there is no single coil airflow uh set up on this uh which why they only gave you three coils instead of four is kind of weird but that's what they did so <clears throat> as i was saying to get rid of the chuff cap if you want just push it off take your little filler ring Drop that in the top, and then you can put your 510 metallic drip tip on the top. Um, I'll go ahead and put the metal on here. So cut it upside down. All right. And we'll put it all back together. Like I said, at 80 watts. And I'll tell you the reason I don't like this metal that much. First off, it's a little short, so my lips, when I vape it, I'm, I'm touching the top cap, and this thing will get hot. But man, is it good. <laughs> 
Airflow is still good. I mean, even with this thing on it, but. Third or fourth hit, somewhere around there, like that was my third one. That gets hot. Um, and I don't seem to have that problem with the big old Delrun uh, drip tip so or chuff cap. So I'm going to put that back on there. And you know what? I was huffing on this. I know it says it holds the juice, but I've been uh, puffing on it before I started the video. So I am going to juice it again just to be safe. Because cotton was looking a little parched. Alright. So yeah. Throw it all back together. And like I said, I mean, I really like this. I really do. Um, it's simple. You know, the simplicity of it is great. Um, it's great for a beginner. Because like I said, the velocity style with just the two posts and not have to having to worry about a center pin is really nice. It makes it easy. You can make big coils and throw them in here. Um... You know, you can, it, it gives you room to screw up, so to speak, and you can still make it work, but yeah. The flavor's on point. The cloud is on point. I mean, this is just an overall nice RDA, and the little troll engraved here is kind of funny, but yeah, I highly suggest it. I mean, if you're looking for an RDA, um... And you want some nice airflow, spot on flavor, and like I said, that's only at 80 watts, um, with with the uh, the two coils in it that ohmed out to a 0.3. Um, so yeah, you can put some big builds in here. You can uh, you can have all kinds of fun with this thing. Um, I, I I truly can't say enough good things about it. Uh, like I said, the only downside I had to it was my cotton kind of vaporized, but whatever. Uh, I, I don't necessarily think most people use the cotton that come with it anyway so until next time big j lizard juice get yourself a troll 25 man <laughs> things awesome see ya hey guys big j just want to say thanks for watching my videos i really appreciate it if you want to help me out give me that thumbs up share my content um subscribe man if you like what you're seeing subscribe um lots of new stuff coming in the future uh, some new faces, some obviously new product, um, man, if you have any suggestions, drop me a line. I'm more than willing to try anything. Take it easy.